Hello everybody, welcome to The Wonky Angle, where I talk about electronic music, both new and old. And my eighth 256 Pi album is out now. It's called Noontide Side Attic Drifter. Should be available now on all the usual platforms, Bandcamp, Spotify, iTunes, etc. Links in the description. Yeah, this one, uh, this one was a lot of fun to make. Uh, in direct contrast to my last album where I intentionally stripped things down and went as simple and straightforward as I could go, this album went in the exact opposite direction, my weirdest and densest project to date. Probably also my loudest and most energetic as well, which might not be saying that much, but whatever. I was just doing whatever the heck I wanted to do on this one. Like, the whole thing is a loose concept on my experience with having ADHD, and as such I didn't focus the project on any one side of my sound. So there's a lot of variety on display here, and stylistic switch-ups, there's drum and bass cuts, uh, breakbeat cuts, IDM influence cuts, ambient cuts, there's one more straightforward trance cut, and plenty more. The whole project can be pretty goofy and ridiculous, or dark and moody, often both at the same time, given the project does also explore my general headspace over the course of 2020, which was very much a weird-ass year for everyone. <laughs> also, I did not sing or use my own voice on this one. It's, we're going back to all instrumental, save for the orb-style vocal sampling and that kind of thing. If you've been following what I've been doing on my 256 Pi Music channel and hearing the various sessions I uploaded there since 04 dropped, you've heard a good chunk of this album's material already. A lot of it is retooled from the ideas I was playing around with there, though none of it appears completely unchanged from how I had it there. I'd often like mash tracks up and put like little elements of one track to work into different ones and stuff like that. And there's also plenty of original cuts here that had nothing to do with those sessions. There's plenty of surprises in store for everyone. And, uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say. I hope this album is as fun to write for you to listen to as it was for me to put together. And that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm currently working on, uh, Some Stuff I Missed Volume 4. That should be my next video, we'll see. That, that is gonna be a very, very big video. I'm reviewing 30 albums in the same video and most likely not recording the entire thing in the same day because I don't think my camera can physically handle that. But uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoy the album. <laughs>